Hello, I'm Josh with Slugabug. We're here in Melbourne, Florida to take a look at a lawn that has brown patch fungus. Let's go check it out. Here's a classic example of what brown patch fungus looks like in your lawn. You can see the orange and browning of the grass blades and also a well-defined circular shape. It has the appearance of being in drought stress, but it's not. So you want to avoid watering this area. There's other versions of brown patch fungus that are less easy to identify. Let's go take a look at those. Here we have another example of brown patch fungus. It's more spread out and mixed with other healthy green looking grass. So it's not as easy to identify. You can see it's thinly spread away from the main area and picking up over here. This is an example of a lawnmower possibly driving through and tracking the fungus spores throughout the lawn. You want to avoid this as much as possible. So regarding brown patch fungus, the first thing that comes to mind is proper management. The first step you want to take is in the fall by reducing your watering. You want to reduce your watering to once a week when temperatures are consistently 80 degrees and below. The next thing you want to do is let your slug bug technician know that you may have a problem. We'll come out and look at it and address the situation. We can apply a fungicide and a fertilizer to help maintain root health through the winter months while the fung fungus is active. The next thing that's very important is you want to speak with your landscaper. Avoiding driving through the fungal areas is very important to reduce the spread, especially during temperatures between 65 and 75 degrees. This will help mitigate the spread and get you through the winter months. And as temperatures rise in the spring, and get steadily 80 degrees and above, your lawn will begin to green back up and you'll be back to normal.